Yo, you guys, what is up? Robert Halverson here today. I'm gonna be going over a very controversial topic that has been over dropshipping all over YouTube. Um, a lot of you have been getting called out for a lot of different things. And I know one YouTuber that's been booming, definitely on the uprise in the dropshipping world, Sebastian G. Um, I know he just bought a GTR, and I kind of want to find out if it's real or not, if he's actually making this kind of money. So in this video, I'm going to go over really how I think or how he says he got it. I guess we'll find out, or if it's real or if it's not. So let's get into it. Bro, okay, so yo, are you are you calling me out in my own house? Oh bro, shit! I forgot it was in your office, bro. Why are you? Turn this shit off. Turn this. So I know people are wondering, am I legit? Right. I know this is a common question, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take this out and uh, we'll just we'll just leave that there. Just okay? hit me in the face with. We'll just for calling we'll you just, out. We'll no. just leave that there. Okay. One hundred dollar watch. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, man. Let's let's get into it. My GTR is fake. Oh, also, also, we'll just we'll leave that there. Sorry for flexing on y'all. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> No. All right. So for real, obviously I'm not calling out Sebastian. Sebastian is my boy. I know he's 100% legit. And I want to just get the point clear that like it's this easy to make money online. Like what was it? Seven months ago you were, I don't want to say normal, but you have the mindset, but you weren't like, you were definitely not doing what you're doing now. Um, okay. So I would say, I would say it was more because I had the I had the right mindset for about a year, yeah. um, but I didn't know what to do with it. And I didn't know where to go, which is very common, and that's okay. Uh, for about a couple months, and then I got into Shopify dropshipping, which obviously that provided me with capital to go ahead and move into other more expensive industries. Which, uh, sorry, um, which right now I'm actually probably going to be moving out and doing a bunch of other more expensive stuff right now, including like some sort of warehousing companies and software companies, just a bunch of crazy things uh, that are in the works right now. So it's pretty legit, it's pretty cool. Um, but I don't, I don't know, what should I? <laughs> um, was there like kind of one thing that really stood out you the most? Because I know a lot, of, a lot of everyone's followers are people trying to get into this business, this online world. So are you saying like what helped me? Yeah, like what kind of like motivated you the most, but what really like did you have to overcome in the beginning? Because obviously it doesn't require a huge amount of capital, but like how, like what did you do to make sure okay. you weren't losing money, you had the money okay. um, to keep it coming in? So what, yeah, okay. So I think what set me apart from others is I had I had startup money. I didn't have a lot, but I, would, I had enough to kind of like play around and mess around. Um, but I would say something that really put me ahead of my competitors, or I guess why I was uh, faster than most people, is because, I would have to say it's because I saw competition, I saw what was working, and then I was able to just just do what they're doing, but realize what they could be doing better, and then implement that myself. That was the whole thing. Um, so I don't I don't want to say anything like, like cliche, Too. like cliche. Yeah. Well, I don't care about going in depth, but like going, I, I don't want to be like, just don't give up, you know, because it's super like everyone yeah. says that. But I think the most specific thing would be finding your competitors. For example, if you have a website on anything, find a competitor by reverse searching uh, your images on Google. If you if you found them on AliExpress, you'll find other people that are selling the same thing that you are. And then you could find out what their website is worth by website traffic. And if they're getting a lot of visitors a day, over 2,000, then they're definitely making money. Yeah. And that's a good sign. So you could copy or you could take inspiration from their website. And that's something that like that was a huge jump start for me. But nobody told me to, nobody told me to do that. I kind of just like understood that. Yeah. But I preach that a lot in my videos and in my course and just everywhere I preach people to do that. And um, it's really been working for a lot of the people I've been helping out. So Definitely. I know. Yeah. Um, I know I mentioned that a lot in my past videos is I really just tell you guys that if you don't know how to find that correct product or that big product that's really on the uprise, um, it's really something that you're seeing every single day. Right. Because um, people aren't going to resell something if it's not making them money. That's true. And then you can obviously go through and retrack um, how much orders they're getting, how much site visits, um, practically just all the data that is kind of out to the public. Uh -huh. And then just retarget and target better than maybe have a better offer. Um, give them a discount code to where you're selling it cheaper than your competitors. Um, pretty much give them the better deal 
so that that way they have the incentive to buy your product instead of someone else's. It's that simple. Like yeah, everyone, true. everyone's buying products online every single day. Yeah. It's just who's gonna do it the best. So in terms of like pricing and and descriptions and pictures and how to edit all that. Dude, it's literally all your competition. Like if you see somebody doing something right and they're selling it at this price and then you see somebody that's not working or you see somebody that's not getting any visitors or something and they're selling it at a different price, like which price do you think you should go for? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not that hard. I mean, I, it's not hard because I've done it. I've done multiple, like I've literally done it right before this video. Like Robert watched me set up like an entire ad campaign on Facebook yep. and now it's running already. So. I actually just got the notification that the ad was approved, so it's already making money. It's already, well, it's not making money yet, but it's already running. Um, so I don't know. Like, I, I'm able to do things really quickly now because it's like I said this all the time. It's like a skill. So once you do it once and you do it well, you can do it again. It's like tying your shoes. Honestly, I get a lot of people that it, I think I kind of put. I mean, in, like, telling going up to a kid and you know that doesn't know how to tie his shoes. But and, think of how long. And then, you yeah, and they'll be like, no, shoes. it's hard, and you're like, well, yeah. it's not hard. Anyone can do it. Yeah. Um, Exactly. So I don't know. That's true. It maybe took it didn't. I mean, obviously, it took you a lot less than six, seven months. But I mean, probably. Okay. I understood the whole business model within sixty days, and yeah. then. But I, okay, that's not like top to bottom. I know everything. There, every single month, I was learning more. Um, yeah. And so, not too long ago, I really got down with Facebook ads, and I like really got into it. Uh, and now I'm getting better with that. But on the other side, like with Instagram and all and Twitter and like. I already got that down. So. Yeah, take advantage of Instagram influencers. Um, I know a lot of people are trying to ma maybe make that like quick upfront money. Like if you don't have, I don't want to say time to waste or um, that, I, I am going to say it, like time to waste. Like influencer ads is quick. It's you're, They're going to post it and if your ad is good, if your product is good, you're going to make money. Obviously with Facebook, there's a lot of testing, getting data um, that can take a little bit more time. but. It's definitely, like he just said, literally learning something every single day, um, no matter how much you know. Although, is once you understand the business model, um, it's so easy. It's mm -hmm. so easy, and literally everybody can do it. Like, what yeah. are you, you're 19? Yeah. Like, we're both 19 years old, and it's, it's crazy to think that, like, our parents are in between, like, 40 years old, and they can't, they can't even understand it, because it's like the up-and-coming generations that, like, this money is literally there for you guys to grab, and I just find it crazy that pe more people aren't doing it. 100%. That's true. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. There, there are definitely people doing it, but I'm surprised that like, I don't know. I would. I guess it, it's according to statistics, it's like like three percent will make it yeah. in any scenario, right? Or three percent will like really, really make it in business. So, I mean, just according to statistics, like three percent of the viewers watching this are gonna make it. And um, that's how I always thought. So I would always constantly be thinking like, what why am I in the top 3% right now? And if I'm not, what can I do to be in the top 3%? Which is a good way to think. Uh, and so I encourage everyone to think that too. But just, I don't know, think outside the box. I, that, I hate when people tell me that, but <laughs> think outside the box, just think differently. And um, and it's really it's really not that hard. I mean, my boy Oni just started selling on Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> so he was taking a dump because we went to Chipotle and he literally went into the bathroom and took a dump. And he was like, I could sell plungers. Like That's a good idea because his toilet got clogged. And then he went to the dollar store and bought 300 plungers <laughs> for a dollar. And then he put them up on Amazon. And literally, I think last night, a school in like California yeah. bought like a hundred of them. And he made like a thousand bucks. And I was like, damn, that's tight. Like yeah. that's really cool for a hundred dollars. So you just like online. 10x your money right there overnight. Um, so that's pretty cool. I mean, it's not, it's not any sort of like crazy complications. I know maybe some of the older people watching think that like you have to do some sort of coding. Uh, but really, it's not it's not that hard. Um, well, and I'm not tech savvy. Like I just I don't do anything. I mean, if I can do it, so can you. That's what I tell everyone. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that kind of cleared up everything. I kind of just wanted to tell my followers, um, pretty much, just kind of congratulate you on everything. Like I remember meeting you. It was in like December. Yeah. And you were just like literally just coming up, and it was like didn't holy I, didn't shit. Didn't I? How many subscribers did I have? Like seven thousand. Yeah, seven thousand. Yeah. yeah, like twenty seven thousand now. That's Close to 29, yeah. actually. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Like, think of how short of a time period, but that literally, like, that went by so fast. And yeah. he is, like, what were you driving, bro? Uh, I had a 2007 Ford Fusion, which I steal daily. Yeah. And then I bought an Audi, which I just sold right before this video. Uh, and so I have my Ford Fusion, a purple Ford Fusion <laughs> with a GTR. Um, 
and I don't know, it's pretty cool, but I don't know. See, the thing is, I don't know how much longer I'll be doing YouTube because I'm moving into other businesses and they'll require more time. And I always want to do help everyone. Uh, I do want to get people on their feet. But, of course, this is not, I, I, this sounds selfish, but I want to help myself first Yeah. before helping others, which I think is fair. I want to, you know, make sure I'm in a good position and then, you know, when I have more time and, you know, when I have things outsourced, I'll come back to YouTube maybe. So, I don't know. I might might leave YouTube for a little bit just to focus on my other business stuff, but we'll stay see. Stay tuned on his channel. Yeah, stay yeah. tuned. <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Awesome. Well, thank you for, like I said, just cleaning it up and talking to my followers definitely and Dude, hopefully I got you. Yeah, I got you. Make sure you guys go follow him at Young with Ambition. Young with Ambition. So, um, I'll finish this video off just kind of by closing it out and right, give bro. you guys a couple bro. more tips. Yeah. Thanks for letting me use your office <laughs> Enjoy my and your bro. camera. But Thank you, bro. All right. I'll leave you out of here. All right, you guys, so this actually is his camera and his office. I left all my stuff at home. I live like 15 minutes from here, but I uh, decided to come over, came up with this video last night, and just kind of wanted to get it done. But Sebastian is the real deal, and he's a prime example on literally like anybody can do it. Um, like, like, like we just kind of went over, seven months ago, he wasn't normal, he had the mindset, but he started to take action. He started to take control of what he wanted his future to be like, and look at him now. He's driving a GTR, and I'll put some shots of the GTR at the end of this video. Um, that thing is insane. Um, one of my best friend Josh, he has a GTR too. I mean, in high school, it, what was it? Two and a half years ago, we were just in high school, normal kids. Everyone was hating on us because of the lifestyle we wanted to live. We had this business bottle that everybody hated, and now literally everyone is DMing us like, "Hey, um, do you hire?" I find that so funny. It's like, um, you know, you made it when your haters are asking if you're hiring. I, I read that in, in a, I read that quote just the other day. And it was so true because two and a half years ago, no one wanted to like even talk to us. They hated us. Our whole town just didn't even want anything to do with us. And now they see us uprising and all they want to do is follow in our footsteps and take advantage of your opportunities at the beginning. Like it's so easy, obviously making money online. The money is there. Think of Amazon. Amazon makes more money than any department store in the world. And they're strictly just solely online. Um, so that's why I suggest you guys in taking advantage of pretty much the opportunity that you have right now because it may not always be here. Um, I'll leave some links down in the description below to where um, for maybe those of you guys who can't really afford kind of like the training or obviously there's a lot of free training options. You guys can literally find everything through YouTube. But I'll leave a link down below for a 14 day free trial for Shopify. You guys can go get your store ready. Um, and then also I'll put a link down below to where you guys can find those hot trending products. Um, there's literally softwares put in place to where it gives you guys the exact audience for each specific product that you should target at. And it also helps you find the products that are coming up. It's practically like a Google Trends for Shopify. So I'll leave those down below. I'll also leave my Instagram. Make sure you guys follow me at Business with Bobby. Thank you guys all for watching. Here's some clips of the GTR.